Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Military Food Service Awards. Please welcome the president of the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, Rob Gifford. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to officially welcome you to our 2021 Military Food Service Awards celebration. It's been a challenging year for our industry, and we regretted not being able to host you at the restaurant show this year. But on behalf of the foundation and the National Restaurant Association, we are very excited to honor and congratulate you virtually. You represent the best of the best in military food service, and we hope you enjoy tonight's program from wherever you're watching. In fact, this year's awardees represent service members from nearly 30 bases and ships at sea in the United States and abroad. Our work at the Foundation is designed to provide you with support while you are in the service and a pathway into the industry when your military service ends. We hope you will lean on us for training, certifications, skill bridging, scholarships, apprenticeships, and much, much more. You've proven your success by being honored with these awards tonight, and the Foundation and our industry is here for you when you look to transition your skills to civilian life. Thank you for your service to our country and to our industry. Now introducing President and CEO of the National Restaurant Association and CEO of the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, Tom Benet. I want to start by thanking each of you for your service to our country and salute your passion for food service, something that's near and dear to me and my heart. Before joining the National Restaurant Association, I served as Chairman, President, and Chief Executive Officer of Cisco Corporation. And before that, I spent over 20 years at PepsiCo. Like many of us in this industry, I grew up in it, having started as a dishwasher in an independent restaurant in my hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. My career in food service reflects the important role that it played early in my life and still does to this day. The National Restaurant Association and the Educational Foundation have been supporting and honoring our armed forces since 1956. And this year will mark 66 incredible years of celebrating our armed forces with the Military Food Service Awards. The skills and values instilled by the military align perfectly with restaurant, food service, and hospitality jobs and careers. The leaders joining us tonight from across the industry are ready to welcome you, learn from you, and help you succeed. Your discipline, focus, and leadership will be critical in our ability to get this industry back on its feet. We need you, and we are committed to creating opportunities for you, our nation's heroes. As we get started, I'd like to again thank the entire U.S. military community, active duty, veterans, civilian mariners, and their families for all you do to ensure our safety and preserve our freedoms. Please welcome Brett Ladd, CEO, Sodexo Universities in Government, North America. Sodexo is very proud to be a supporter of the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation Military Food Service Training Program. We are also very proud to work alongside a food service professional such as yourself within the United States Air Force, United States Marine Corps, many Army locations, and other government agencies across the country. In addition to my work with Sodexo supporting the military, I'm also a member of the National Restaurant Association Education Foundation Board of Trustees, and I'm also a past judge of these awards. This gives me a firsthand view of the tremendous impact that organizations have on military food service professionals, like those recognized by the Military Food Service Awards Program. I can assure you the results are nothing short of impressive. I want to congratulate everyone for earning the Military Food Service Awards. You are the best of the best and you make us all proud. Thank you very much. Please welcome Director of Professional Advancement for the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, Chief Master Sergeant, retired Ed Walden. I've had the privilege of being a part of the association's military food service program for 13 years. And now I'm proud to continue my service with the military and this industry as a member of the foundation team. One of the many things that COVID took this year was our ability to send civilian travelers to your bases. Instead of sending our travelers on the road, they participated in virtual evaluations. 
These dedicated individuals spend time at night, early in the morning, and many weekends to complete their evaluations. They may not have been able to travel, but their impact was felt by many around the globe. I want to take this time to thank all civilian travelers from all over the years and encourage those who may be interested in supporting military food service professionals to consider joining the Travelers Evaluation Team. It's a once in a lifetime experience. These service members, their dedication to their duty will leave you energized and proud that they represent your country and maybe one day your company. Before we announce this year's award winners, I'd like to briefly share with you the programs we have developed specifically for military service members interested in pursuing a career in the restaurant and food service industry. Last year, the foundation earned DOD SkillBridge approval for the industry's first military transition program for restaurant management. This 12-week program will assist with a smooth transition into a DOL or registered apprenticeship. Also, the foundation has both its restaurant management and line cook apprenticeship programs accepted into the VA's Valor program, allowing veterans to use part of their post 9-11 GI Bill while participating. The foundation awarded over $155,000 in scholarships to military members and their families from generous sponsors such as Hormel and Cisco. We also launched Restaurants Recruit, where we link transitioning military service members to jobs in our industry. We are proud to be part of the Department of Defense's Military Spouses Employment Partnership. This puts a spotlight on military spouses that work in our industry. And finally, we are proud to host advanced culinary training programs with the Culinary Institute of America in San Antonio for 54 select service members to learn from master chefs on what it takes to enhance their culinary skills. We strive to create numerous pathways for you in the restaurant and food service industry. And when the time is right for you to transition out of the military, we'll be here to support you. Now let's get on with the show. Now for this evening's award presentation. The Philip A. Connolly Awards for Excellence in Army Food Service. The winner for the best active Army garrison is Headquarters and Headquarters Company, 10th Group, Support Battalion, 10th Special Forces Group Airborne, Fort Carson, Colorado. The winner for the best active Army field kitchen is Headquarters and Headquarters Company, Group Support Battalion, 7th Special Forces Group Airborne, Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. The winner for the best Army Reserve Field Kitchen is Headquarters and Headquarters Company, 368th Engineer Battalion, 302nd Maneuver Enhancement Brigade, Londonderry, New Hampshire. The winner for the best Army National Guard Field Kitchen is Delta Company, 634th Brigade Support Battalion, 33rd IBCT, Illinois. Please congratulate tonight's Connolly Award winners. Now, the United States Marine Corps Major General W.P.T. Hill Memorial Awards Program for Food Service Excellence. Please welcome Lieutenant General Sharadi. I'm Lieutenant General Sharodi, Deputy Commandant for Installations and Logistics, and wanted to congratulate you all on a job well done. The WPT Hill Award for Food Service Excellence began in 1985 to recognize the best mess halls in the Marine Corps. Since then, Marines like you have supported mission accomplishment. Supporting the warfighter has been even more challenging with all the effects of COVID-19, but all of our food service professionals have shown they can adapt and overcome. Even though we've had to change processes and operations, we still have some outstanding Marines deserving of recognition. Sergeant Gabriella Justice from the 13th MU in Camp Pendleton, California, won the category for Food Service Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year. Gunnery Sergeant Jonathan Dunham 
from 2nd Marine Division in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, one in the Staff Non-Commissioned Officer category, and Sergeant Mohammed Cease from 4th Marine Logistics Group, Combat Logistics Regiment 45, Marietta, Georgia, one in the Reservist Non-Commissioned Officer category. Thank you to the National Restaurant Association's leadership and its Education Foundation for honoring our Marines and congratulations to our Marine Corps winners and all the winners for their efforts over this past year. Congratulations and Semper Fidelis. The winner for the Active Duty Staff Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year, Gunnery Sergeant Jonathan A. Denham, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force, 2nd Marine Division, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. The winner for the Active Duty Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year, Sergeant Gabrielle C. Justice, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, 13th Marine Expeditionary Force Unit, Camp Pendleton, California. The winner for the Reserve Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year, Sergeant Mohammed Seas, 4th Marine Logistics Group, Combat Regiment 45, Marietta, Georgia. Congratulations to our Marine Corps Award winners. The Captain Edward F. Ney Memorial Awards Program. Please welcome Rear Admiral Pete Stamatopoulos. Greetings, I'm Rear Admiral Pete Stamatopoulos, and it's an honor for me to be joining you as Commander, Naval Supply Systems Command, and 49th Chief of Supply Corps. Today's awards program promotes healthy competition and encourages those in military food service to continue to up their game each year to the benefit of every service member. Congratulations to all award recipients from across the Department of Defense. The Captain Edward F. Ney Memorial Award is the highest distinction given to Navy Food Service operations in recognition of excellence in their field. Congratulations to this year's afloat winners representing the Navy's undersea, surface warfare, and naval aviation enterprises. And congratulations to the Ashore General Mess winners representing Commander, Navy Installations Command. Each of you and your teams have shown great skill and devotion while serving the fleet. Be proud of this special achievement. Continue to take a tremendous amount of pride in the support you provide to our warfighters and the contributions you make that allow our Navy to be recognized as a force to be reckoned with across planet Earth. The services you provide are critical and mission essential to Navy readiness and our sailors' quality of life. You are key contributors to the fleet's health and morale. Without you, our sailors are not fed and our Navy does not fight. Again, congratulations to this year's award recipients on this achievement. Bravo Zulu for your contributions past, present, and future, and thank you for your continued commitment to excellence and mission success. The winner of the best aircraft carrier is USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, Norfolk, Virginia. The winner for the best small medium afloat is USS McFall, Norfolk, Virginia. The winner for the best large afloat is USS Iwo Jima, Mayport, Florida. The winner for the best East Coast Ashore is Gator Inn, Joint Expeditionary Base, Little Creek, Virginia. The winner for the best West Coast Ashore is Trident Inn, Naval Base Kitsap, Kitsap, Washington. The winner for the best Oconus outside the contiguous U.S. Ashore is Restaurante Bella Etna, Naval Air Station Siganella, Siganella, Italy. The winner for the best submarine is USS Jimmy Carter, Ketsip, Washington.
congratulations to our Navy Award winners. The John L. Hennessy Awards for Excellence in Air Force Food Service Operations and the Air National Guard Senior Master Sergeant Kenneth W. Disney Food Service Award. Please welcome Major General Tom Wilcox. Hey gang, Major General Tom Wilcox here, the commander of the Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center. And I'm both honored and privileged to be with you for a second year as we recognize our Department of Defense's top food services uh, airmen. Uh, wow, 50 million different meals at 342 active reserve and guard installations over the last year. That's what you did. That's what we're here to say thank you for and what we're here to award. Um, huge thanks to the National Restaurant Association for their 65 years as part of the Hennessy program. But today is all about you and what you bring to the fight for our Air and Space Force every single day. The Air and Space Force could not do their mission if you weren't there to fuel them. And all those meals that you provide them allow uh, both services to get the mission done. So thanks for what you do. Thanks for coming to work with a smile on your face. It was a tough year. We fought through COVID. I am so looking forward to being with you in person next year and not on a video, but today's my chance to say thank you for what you do. Uh, a hot meal cheers everybody up. A hot meal motivates everybody to get their job done, and we absolutely could not do it without you, team. So, Airmen, thanks. Appreciate the great job, and your winners. The Region 1 winner is 96th Fourth Support Squadron, Eglin Air Force Base, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. The Region 2 winner is 374th 4th Support Squadron, Yokota Air Base, Fusa, Japan. The United States Air Force Europe small site winner is 702nd Munitions Support Squadron, Buchel Air Base, Buchel, Germany. The AFGSC best missile feeding operation is 5th Bomb Wing, Minot Air Force Base. Minot, North Dakota. The Air Force Reserve winner is 512th Memorial Affairs Squadron, Dover Air Force Base, Dover, Delaware. The Senior Master Sergeant Kenneth W. Disney Food Service Award winner is 179th Sustainment Services Flight, Mansfield, Ohio. Please congratulate the Air Force, Air Reserve, and Air National Guard award winners. The Coast Guard Forest O. Red Door Award Program. Please welcome Rear Admiral Dana Thomas. I want to congratulate you on another outstanding year. You and your teams of culinary specialists have led the way. You should be incredibly proud of what you've done. You have prepared food with love. You have shown respectful customer service and most importantly, unparalleled leadership. You've done this for each and every one of your shipmates. You've done this for the Coast Guard and without you, the Coast Guard would not go round and round. I'm sitting right now at the Commandant's table, in the Commandant's chair, drinking from the Commandant's mug, because he too wants to thank you for all that you've done. This has been an incredibly unparalleled year for service. I mean, how innovative the, the Coast Guard culinarians had to be, the program had to be, to meet people's needs, to, to have drive-through service for people to pick food up, to be able to sell food as needed to people who had no food in their communities. I have never seen such creativity. You made it work. I want to say now, afloat units, you couldn't have done a better job. Coast Guard Cutter Harriet Lane, Coast Guard Cutter Resolute, and Coast Guard Cutter Sockeye. 
Next, the Assure units, Base LALB, Sector Northern New England, and Small Boat Station Burlington, Vermont. But I would be remiss if I did not mention our Culinary Specialist of the Year, CS2 Nathaniel Phillips, off of the Coast Guard Cutter Attic in Bahrain. Thank you for what you did, for morale, for food being medicine, and for taking care of your crew. And wait, the runner-up, I didn't forget about you either. CS2 Phyllis Almarez off the Coast Guard Cutter Attic out of San Diego, knocked it out of the park. All right, everyone that has served their country this year in a uniform has taken care of the nation. I could not be more proud. The Commandant could not be more proud. So thank you from both of us. Have a great Coast Guard day. The winner for larger float dining facility is United States Coast Guard Cutter, Harriet Lane, Portsmouth, Virginia. The winner for larger shore dining facility is Coast Guard Base, Los Angeles, Long Beach, San Pedro, California. The winner for medium of float dining facility is United States Coast Guard Cutter, Resolute, St. Petersburg, Florida. The winner for medium assured dining facility is Coast Guard Sector in Northern New England, South Portland, Maine. The winner for small afloat dining facility is United States Coast Guard Cutter Sockeye, Bodega Bay, California. The winner for small ashore dining facility is Coast Guard Station Burlington, Burlington, Vermont. The winner for Coast Guard Culinary Specialist of the Year is Culinary Specialist Second Class, Nathaniel J. Phillips, United States Coast Guard Cutter, ADAK. Please congratulate the Coast Guard Award winners. Captain M. David Cook Food Service Excellence Awards. Please welcome Rear Admiral Michael A. Wettloffer. As Commander, Military Chief Command, I would like to thank the National Restaurant Association Education Foundation for your commitment and dedication in improving the joint military food service award programs and, importantly, for providing training opportunities for our civil service members. A big shout out to the winning crews for this year's Captain David M. Cook Food Service Excellence Award in each category. As always, this was challenging to make a decision. But I am excited to announce that the men and women of the USNS Comfort, USNS Yukon, USNS Richard E. Byrd, and USS Frank Cable are the winners of the Food Service Excellence Award uh, and for delivering great food to their shipmates. Congratulations to each of you. Winner for the Best Food Service Operations Small Ship category is United States Naval Ship Comfort, Norfolk, Virginia. The winner for the Best Food Service Operation Medium Ship category is United States Naval Ship Yukon, San Diego, California. The winner for the Best Food Service Operation Large Ship category is United States Naval Ship Richard E. Byrd, San Diego, California. The winner for the Best Food Service Operation Hybrid Ship category is Frank Cable, Guam. Please congratulate the Military Sea Lift Award winners. The 2021 Connolly, Hill, Ney, Cook, Hennessy, Disney and Red Door Awards have been presented by Please welcome Director of Professional Advancement for the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, Chief Master Sergeant, retired Ed Walden. We hope you enjoyed honoring the winners of the 2021 Military Food Service Awards. 
Thank you to the sponsors for making this presentation and all of our military programming possible. Thank you to the winners who personify excellence in military food service. And thank you to everyone watching here and at bases around the world. We hope to see you next May in Chicago, but until then, keep in touch by following us on our social channels. Thank you and good night.